talk water tanks. This is the DIY van over the wheel well water tank. It is designed to fit sprinters, promasters, and transits, all single wheeled uh, vehicles any year uh, for all of those models. So uh, very versatile tank, works with a lot, it is 20 gallon capacity. A couple of cool features about this tank, you'll see here on the front edge, that it actually combines the two main reservoirs. And so it, it helps to you know, maintain equal water level in the two main ballasts and it's naturally baffled. So uh, when you're driving down the road, it kind of decreases the sloshing of the water back and forth because of that narrow channel that the water has to pass through. And then the last thing it does is it actually centers the weight over your axle. So it helps to maintain kind of a balanced cargo. So those are the main features with the, the water tank itself, which we sell as an independent product. The tank comes with four mounting brackets, so steel mounting brackets. And then to install those brackets, here on the ends of the tank, we have four threaded inserts, and it's the same on the other side as well. And so these brackets can be installed in any position and rotated. 360 degrees, depending on how you want to mount it. And then all you need um, are these little 5 16 bolts to be able to install that right into the threaded inserts. So the tank and brackets are sold um, as a set. So whenever you buy the water tank, it comes with the brackets and comes standard with the two an input input and output on both ends, so it's on this side and on the other side, and also a single fitting on the top. So um, five total fittings on the tank, and the brackets again are included when you buy the water tank. Now on the table here as well is our, our water, um, kind of our simple water kit. And so this kit will include a water fill. So this uses a standard garden hose fitting. So screw a hose right into the fitting here. This can be panel mounted. So you drill a hole through the cabinet. You can mount this assembly right on here with the, the screws that come with it. Screw in your, your uh, hose fitting and then you can fill the water tank. What's nice about this little piece here is that it actually has a check valve built into it. So it allows water to flow in, but say you're going up a steep hill and the water wanted to flow back out, it would actually be um, stopped by that check valve. So a nice little simple design, but works really, really well. To hook this up to the, to the tank, included in the kit is everything you're going to need to hook this uh, water tank up. Every fitting, hose, uh, everything you're going to need. So. We'll start with the in, input. You'll use 5 8 tubing, and you'll slip it over the end here. Now this is a little bit of a tight fitting with the 5 8 hose, so taking a little bit of a heat gun or even a lighter and just kind of warming up this tubing, you'll be able to get that fitting in there and then use a hose clamp to secure it onto the end here. You'll cut it to whatever length you need depending on your assembly, and so you'll cut this off and in the end of the tank here, you will have a fitting that will thread right in to the um, input of the tank, and it has a 5 8 barb. So this is a half inch NPT threaded fitting to 5 8 barb, and then that'll slip right into the tubing on the other side, and again, just a hose clamp on there, and that will finish off the water fill portion of the tank assembly. Now for the drain portion of it, included in the kit is a brass three-way valve. And so it has three positions. It can either be on, so you can see this lever here will allow water, it has a little arrow, allow water to flow in through. This is the main one, so this is where it comes in. And you can either distribute the water to this side or to this side. So now the reason for that is this side here will go to your water pump. So in its current um, 
orientation, water will come out of the tank into the valve over to here and then out to your water pump to pressurize the entire system. And then with the same valve and the same knob, you're able to rotate this. And if it is straight up and down like that, it is off, so it doesn't allow water to flow to either of these. So the water is stopped as soon as it comes into the valve. And then rotate it in another 90 degrees here. It will allow the water to go through this uh, output. And we use this as our drain side. So you have your main in, your output to your water pump, and your drain all controlled with a single valve. So nice, um, simple little setup that works really, really well. Now, included in the kit will be another half inch NPT to barb fitting that will screw into the output of the tank. And again, this can be uh, installed on either side of the tank. Depends on if you're installing on driver or passenger. And then just use a section of 5 8 tubing to connect up the uh, fitting from the tank directly to your control valve here. So once that's set up, then 5 8 barb fitting here as well. So it goes right into the tubing and you can run this tubing up to your water pump depending on where you have it located. The final uh, couple of components that come with this is the breather tube. So on any system like this, you have to let air into the tank and let air out of the tank. So when we're filling water into the tank, the air is gonna get pushed out and we have to let it go somewhere. Vice versa, when we're pulling water out of the tank, air needs to be able to come into the tank to replace that volume that you're removing or else you create a vacuum and stuff can't go in or out. So a very simple uh, tube here, 3 8 inch inner diameter and a fitting here. So a half inch NPT to 3 8 barb. Now this can be installed in multiple locations. So if your inlet is here, so your water is coming into this upper um, port here, you can either install this breather tube directly on the top, which is the ideal situation because it allows for your tank to have maximum water capacity. Then simply install the hose onto the fitting and you can run this tubing. Uh, we recommend actually drilling a hole out the bottom of the van. Whoops. Um, drilling a hole out the bottom of the van and running the tube out directly out the bottom of the van. That way, if you do uh, overflow the tank, so as you're filling it, you forget about it and water starts to overflow, it just goes right out this tube, out the bottom of the van, and you don't have to worry about it. When air needs to come in, it can suck air in, um, and it's no problem. So it's a nice, simple way to do this. The other option is to install it on the opposite upper port from wherever your input is. Um, and so you have options there depending on how um, your van is designed. So those are the main components. Whichever ports you don't use, included in the kit is a couple of plugs, half inch NPT plugs. So you'll use three of the five ports that are on this. So a breather tube, an input, and an output. You'll still have two more drain or two more ports available if you wanted to use them for something else. But if you don't, you're just gonna go ahead and plug them. So you'll use a little bit of thread tape and just screw them right into those uh, fittings to um, seal them up and that way they, they won't be in use. So those are the main components of this kit. So again, the water tank can be bought independently with the four brackets included. Our water kit will include all the tubing, the valves, all the barb and NPT fittings, the plugs, uh, and everything that you're going to need to get this guy hooked up to a water pump. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it answered some questions. If you have any comments uh, or if you need some more questions answered, please leave, leave those below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you like the video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and as always, Enjoy the process.